I never thought I would fall in love with the heart rate monitor. So the Polar Verity Sense is one of the most versatile optical heart rate monitor out there. Does it mean it's the best? How it is compared to a more traditional ECG heart rate monitor? Let's find out. It is a simple loop with a velcro that you can put on your forearm or bicep. It has a nice fabric and it feels comfortable on the skin. My main complaint is with the adjustment system. You would expect that like most straps you just need to pull in order to find the perfect fit. Here you first adjust, put it on, take it out and then readjust. It's fairly annoying and I believe that Polar could come out with a better solution. The unit itself is just a circular optical sensor with one button and three green LED lights. It has three modes. The first one with the heart rate symbol will just broadcast your HR to a pair device. The second mode is the recording mode which lets you use the Verity Sense as a standalone product meaning that you don't have to use any other device to record the session. I use it all of the time to compare HR data and also to my Muay Thai class. More on that in a bit. By the way, the Verity Sense can store up to 600 hours of activities. The third button is for pool swimming. You can just activate this mode and it will record your HR data, the total duration and distance at the pool. Take note that you need to adjust the pool size in the Polar Flow app just before you're using this mode. It has a battery life of 30 hours as opposed to the Polar OH1 which was about 11 or 12 hours. It also has a wide broadcast range of up to 150 meters. It has a multiple connectivity options since it supports both Bluetooth and N+. The Polar Verity Sense has an updatable firmware and also has a water resistant of up to 50 meters. The sensor weighs 5 grams and with the armband it weighs about 17 grams. So you barely notice it's there. It costs about 89 US dollars which puts it on the bit pricey side. We'll check out how it performs and if it worth the extra cash. The Verity Sense is an optical heart rate monitor. So it does suffer from shared and common problems of other optical heart rate monitors like the ones on your watch. So why would you prefer using the Verity Sense over a traditional chest strap? First, I find it more comfortable to wear. Instead of feeling the pressure in your chest, I just slide my hand through it and that's it. Another reason for me is the internal memory, which allows me to use it in various ways. For instance, thanks to the Polar Severity Sense, I can keep track of my Muay Thai classes. I get the total duration and calories at the end of the class and it also syncs the data to my Polar Watch. So the cardio load estimation is much more reliable. I can't express enough my happiness with this feature since prior to the Verity Sense, I couldn't take into consideration those type of activities and I always felt that my training load estimation is off. Moreover, now I can track my pool swimming heart rate and get better understanding of how I perform in the pool and which type of effort I'm putting in. In order to use it in the pool, you just need to use the added clip for the goggles. Then you wear it next to your temple and you're all set. The swimming mode is a neat idea, but in practice, I never get an accurate result. Usually I get a result of 25 up to 100 meters in total, even if I swam 800 meters. Maybe in a future firmware update, Polar would address this issue. By the way, you can broadcast your HR while you're recording and that's awesome. Let's look at some heart rate data so we'll get a better understanding of how accurate is the Polar Verity Sense. Here we can see some running data. The Polar Verity Sense is in yellow, while the Corus Space 2, which was paired to the Garmin HRM Dual, in blue. As you can see, the graph is very similar. There are some really small differences between the, the two. There are no discrepancies. If you want to get picky, you can see that the, the Polar Verity Sense, uh, in some cases, it takes a while after a peak to catch up, while the HRM Dual is more snappy. But I think that's it. It's a very comparable graph and you can't really tell the difference. Let's look at some strength training data. So in this graph, you can see after the warm up, I had a really strange peak with the Polar Verity Sense. And in other cases, in the intervals, you can see that the Garmin HRM Dual 
catch a much higher heart rate. In total, there is a very similar result. It looks like that the polar variety sense didn't catch all the peaks just as they were. There were some differences. Sometimes it was uh, about 10 BPMs and sometimes less. So they are similar, but in this case, I don't think it did a great job. It was good. Let's look at some cycling data. This time the Chorus Space 2 is in red, while the Polar Verity Sense is in purple. So it took a while for the Verity Sense to catch up in the beginning. You can see that it took probably about 30 seconds. Other than that, only in the beginning there was a slight peak. A Garmin Dage RM Dual uh, catched it and the Polar Verity Sense didn't. But in all other cases, this graph looks very similar. You can't really tell the difference. By the way, it was a mountain bike riding and I think it did a great job. Lastly, let's look at another running data. So here you can see again that the graph is almost the same. There is no difference between the two. In my opinion, the, gra the graph looks identical. If you want to get picky, so you can see that after some of the spikes to the polar variety sense, it takes a while to catch up um, if the heart rate is declining. But beside that, I don't see the difference. I think they are very comparable. And again, it did a great job. So we've seen that the Polar Verity Sense has produced similar results to a more traditional chest strap and it's quite accurate. It does take a while for it to catch up and it has some strange dips and spikes like any other optical heart rate monitor. With that, I think it's the most reliable optical heart rate monitor that you can find and it measures your heart rate close enough to a chest strap that you can rely on it while you're training. I wait for a firmware update that would allow the current battery level to be presented in the Polar Flow app, just like they did with the OH1, and to get improved swimming measurement, and then it could be just perfect. It does have a high price tag, but I think it's versatile enough to justify it. I love it and I use it every day and can imagine my day-to-day -day training without it now. Thanks to that, I can tell that a typical Muay Thai class burns about 1000 calories. So that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't be shy and hit that like button. Also, consider subscribing to join this journey and we can do it together. By the way, if you subscribe, I would appreciate if you comment in the comment section down below and tell me that you have subscribed. I promise to answer to all of you. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, have a great day.